day. Mm-hmm. King takes a takes oh a gosh. takes a turn. Gets into King. it with his mother and father at the Atlanta Falcons game. King is what's going on with him? But he, is he a project of just watching his father just do too much? What is his father supposed to do? Because as a father, you don't ever want to give up on your child. You don't ever want to turn your back on on your child. But when your child just gets completely out of pocket, what are you supposed to do as a parent? Especially when he's telling you he's a grown man. How do you handle that? I don't know how I handle it. I beat his little ass. I, I tell him, put him up, put him up, put him up. Let's see who wins. <laughs> you want to buck, little nigga? Let's go then. Let's, I'm going to teach you how I really was before I became the guy that buys back my neighborhood grocery store. I'm going to show you who I really am. All this was already a growing from the TV show when he was growing up and whatever and how he is. But he said he was standing on business. You Somebody better get that little nigga before he gets stood down on business. He said he was standing on business. Little well, motherfucker. And he don't care who it is. Y'all better pray for these kids, boy. But how, was he at the game with his parents? Or did he come and they was there? Or That's hey, right. Hey, do y'all want to go to the bed? To make him look better. He said, you know that you're Silver spoon. I ain't never ate with that day. A day in my life. I had a truth. 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 I'm going to tell you something. And that's that that type of behavior is also going on in my family right now, too. You know, I told you about how my uncle had to kick his son out because, you know, he think he big headed and he think he can do it all on his own. And um, I'm going to tell you something. You it is 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 our responsibility as parents to first be nurturing and protectors and all that. But also be able to separate being a friend and being a parent. And when you when you be a parent, one of the things that a part of being a parent is holding your child responsible when they're just not doing what they're supposed to do before they come. I think they say it in the Bible. Honor, what did it say? Honor your mother and your father as your days be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Then there's another part of that scripture that say if you train up a child in the way they should go, when they go, and when they depart away from you, they will be the way that you train them. So we yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> I'm glad you did that. We are seeing exactly what that child was raised. Because if I can remember correctly, he did spend a lot of time in his grandmother's house. And if I'm not mistaken, he spent a lot of time in his grandmother's house because his grandmother let him do what he wanted to do. And he couldn't do what he wanted to do at T.I. He didn't want to stay behind the gates. So now it's your responsibility, T.I. and and Tiny, to tell that little nigga, no, you ain't going to your grandmother's house. So you can be outside and do what you want to do. He grown now. That's no, crazy. I'm saying then. I'm no, I'm saying then. Then you wouldn't have had these problems. And yeah. hey, my child, my child that I'm I'm responsible for his celebrity status and shit. Ain't about to disrespect for me, disrespect me and no a lot. I don't care if he grown, then I'm gonna treat him like he grown. And whatever happened from that happened from that. You don't wanna ever talk to me again after I whoop your ass? So be it. But one, you're not going to disrespect my wife, your mother. Two, you're not going to disrespect our family. Three, you're not going to get on the internet and say I'm a man. Well, if you're a man, men get beat up every day for talking shit to people. So that's my saying to you. I told you I'm on my shit today. Oh, yeah. I, listen, you know I'm on my shit today. Tiny could have boop off his ass. Yeah, too. She hood too. She could have kicked, drop, kick. This is a perfect time to drop kick somebody. <laughs> Straight just drop kicked the shit out of his ass. Y'all the same height. I'd have chopped his ass in right the throat. Pow. <laughs> just <laughs> Yeah, let him let his ass breathe. Tell him, breathe, son. Breathe. Breathe. Get your breath. Breathe. 
Now let's start over again. Now, do you really want to have this conversation now? Or do you want me to chop you in your throat again? Yeah, yeah, nigga, staying on business. You little ass nigga. You little ugly ass boy. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? You little ugly ass boy. You think you look cool? Boy, you look ugly as shit, boy. The fuck? Get that shit out of here. The fuck is going on in this world? Yeah, see? They started me. <laughs> Welcome to episode 131.